Then when I came, I went back to work. When I got to work, I spoke to somebody and the person was like, I can't hear you. I said, really? I struggled to even talk to people trying to take permission. They were like, we can't hear you. You really need to go home. You need rest. I came home, slept the whole day, thinking that it would get better. No way. I got up early in the morning. I had to call in. When I picked up my phone and I called the supervisor, she could not even hear me. She just looked at the number that I had called. That's what she was telling me the previous day, when they, like a couple of days when I went back to work. She said, I just looked at your number and that is how I went and I checked out. I could know who had called it, call off work. My testimony this day is to say that I really want to bless God because this taught me something. We used to take, we take, I personally, I take a lot of things for granted. The Lord taught me that even your voice sometimes is very, very, very important. I sat in the house with my children, I could not talk, I'll be talking to my kids, I'll be making shush, 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 I'll be showing my eyes. Then I look back and I give glory to God because if God gives you the grace to get up from bed every day and do the things that you do, let us appreciate God. Man, the devil came in that was killed, killed and destroyed, but Jesus came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Do we feel it with everybody on this aisle? You were you here yeah, when we did the count? Oh, okay, come on. Okay. Do we have anybody on this aisle? How many of you want to? One? Was it two of you I counted before? All right, let's go. Just want to be sure we're good with time here. Amen. I have confidence that Jesus is going to lead me through. No matter what the devil may do. Oh, I have confidence. No matter what the devil may do. I've gone through a lot. <clears throat> Last year was, um, I don't know what to say, but Pastor Victor knows. <laughs> so it was really terrible. Many things have happened. Many things have gone wrong. At one point, I called Pastor Porter and he just finished, he just killed me by telling me that there is a monitoring spirit behind me. You know, but I thank God that I am. He, he helped me through and after some prayers, it reduced. The last one that happened was the, for some reason, I don't know what happened, our apartment got burned. For, I don't know whether it's negative as well, I don't want to say it, but something was wrong. They say it is good to realize or to recognize that something spiritual is happening because it can be happening in the physical. You don't know that something is behind it. Just say this, it, it's a coincidence that Something cannot be happening um, all the time. Some misfortune cannot be happening at the same pace. There should be something wrong somewhere. And if you you are a Christian, you have to know that you think and check something is wrong. So I just want to say that I just want to thank God and testify that God has been so good. Even with the job that I have now, when I went for the interview, <coughs> I applied for this job like that was 2010. And it's this year that he called me to Methodist Hospital to come work. And even at that, when I went there, everything was okay. I went for my drug screen. I was sick the day I went there. And they told me everything was fine when I came back. Two days, Thursday, I had to start my orientation on Monday. They called me Thursday. They used the pastor's phone to call. And Terrence called me that they had asked me to call. ASAP. So when I called, I didn't get nobody. In the evening, around four, I was going to do my hair. They called me that, um, Mr. Lange, we are sorry, you will not be able to do the orientation for Monday. I'm like, okay, why? Because we found some hard drugs in your system. <laughs> I'm like, okay, hard drugs like as in what? 
Though we found some wind in your system. I'm like, okay. Immediately they told me. I was convicted that there is something wrong somewhere, spiritual, not physical. So as he said that, I asked him, what did they see in my system? He said, we found wind in your system. I'm like, um, Mr. Whoever, I don't smoke. I am not even an alcoholic, so there should be a mistake somewhere. He said, no, hold on, let me check. He double check and said, yeah, they say you have it in your system. I said, okay. I said, well, I dropped the phone there. What I did at that time, I was so confused. I was at the largest parking lot. The only thing that could come in my mind was, no, what? This is not ordinary. So, wherever that confusion is coming from, stand here and pray. I stood at that parking lot and I prayed like a mad person. I said, oh, anywhere that confusion is coming from, I sent the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, to arrest and set confusion in that place. Then I called back the person. I said, so have you been rectified? He said, no. I said, well, I am coming tomorrow in that place. That death has to be redone. If it is not, I will go somewhere else and do it. So the next day I went there. They said, no, Mr. Lange, there's no thing we can do. It's a policy. You have to come back after three months. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere to come back after three months. It's either you guys are doing this thing back or I'm taking my result and go somewhere else. Then I will bring it back here. He said, okay, hold on, let me find out. In that place, I was only praying. praying. So... He called and the, the lad told him that they should send me. Immediately I went there, I was so wounded, I was so pissed. <laughs> so, when I went there, I said, I'm so large, I was here Monday to do my, my uh, drug stick. They said, oh, I know what is happening, sit down. The, sad. the woman that was responsible for that, they called her, she came. She said, hi, Miss Davis, good morning. I am not Miss Davis. <laughs> oh, okay, how can I help you? Um, I was here on Monday and I did drug skinning. They say I have. Oh, no, 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 this is a huge mistake. I'm like, okay, what do you mean by this is a huge mistake? He, she said, it was not you we were referring to, but some other person. I'm like, God, for crazy sake, not me now. They said, no, we're talking about somebody else. It's just a confusion. It's not you, we are sorry. So they rectified everything and everything was fine. So when they went there, it was good. They still asked me, the woman still asked me that. There is one more thing that was left. You need to bring something from your school and all that. In fact, it was just so complicated. What I just want to say is that what God has said He will do, He will do. And finally, you got the job. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. The Bible says the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous will run into it and be saved. Amen. So please don't be don't be discouraged when these things come. That we heard the exhortation. The name of the Lord will be elevated when once a crisis comes your way and you confront it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I get... Okay, come on. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask to come first. Okay. Praise the Lord. Sunday morning. So I told God, God, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to be devoted. I don't want to work Wednesday. I don't want to live. I don't want to like work Sunday. And the supervisor I have used to be like, no, you can't, you can't tell her anything. So I was like, God, help me. So there was this day I was at work. Somebody that like, dropped the schedule on Tuesday and said, now this is an opportunity. I'm going to take that schedule. So I called my supervisor and said, this is a day. Please, I don't want to work Wednesday anymore. Can you change my schedule? She was like, I can't change the schedule. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. So I told God, God, I, I, can't, I can't make my life seem like Sunday, Wednesday, I'm working no Bible studies. Sunday, I'm alternating. Sunday, I said, I can't do this. God, help me. I need to. I need to talk to her. So I called her back. I was like, I want to change my schedule. So she said, okay, I'm going to give you a Tuesday. So that one from Wednesday, I'm not working anymore. Amen. So on Sunday, I'll be coordinating Sunday morning. Like, you know, last week she called me and she was like, now it's the two of you. Miss every Sunday coordinating, you have to work in. I said, no, this one is impossible. It's better you 
take the schedule out from me. I'm not going to be doing it. She told me, I don't care about it. I said, I'm on a church program. She said, I don't care about your church program. That is my schedule. So I told her, that's okay. I can't do it. So she dropped. I said, I told my husband, I'm not going to do it. I can't. I'm not, I, can't. I, want to. I can't. I'm not going to do it. So like about 20 minutes after she called me, she said, it's Barbara. Choose a schedule you want to, like Friday, choose any schedule, you're not going to be working Sunday anymore. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I'm going to work Friday, like, I'm going to work Friday, so that's okay, choose a schedule. So I just want to tell you, like, anything you ask for God, Hallelujah. And another thing was, like, I would be wanting to join the choir, but there was that I'm like, maybe next week, maybe next morning. So when Pastor Paul came, I was sitting there, I was like, and he, can, can he call me? Let me call me. Let me come to me. Come to me. I was praying. I was praying. He said, You will come here. When I came, he told me, Why do you want to join the choir? You have to join the choir. I want to join the choir. I thank God for everything. Amen. That was a powerful confirmation. You come to a service, you are designed to be here. That is how you're going to receive the healing. You come to a service, desire to. For the Lord to speak to you, that is how God is going to speak to you. Amen. Amen. Nothing happens here abstractly. It's something that you are always desiring. And the Lord will use that to confirm. Amen. Amen. And if you stand for the Lord, the Lord will stand for you. Amen. Amen. God bless my name. And one last but two. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited to give my testimony. Um, Pastor said to do, you know, pray for three things when the conference is about to start. So I want three things. The first one is that, Lord, I want to really put you number one in my life. I don't want anything to disrupt, you know, whatever I, you know, you want me to do. I know what you call me to do. My second one was um, my uh, sister's, my younger sister, she had a baby. The baby was only two weeks. And all of a sudden, this baby took ill. And they couldn't find what is wrong with this baby. And gradually, we're seeing that if care is not taken, the baby will pass. And even Pastor Paul said, I see death. And uh, I, I, uh, the, the Sunday that we finished the program, my sister called my mom and said, we're rushing the baby from Bamenda General Hospital to Bingo. I said, what is it they want to do? She said, they, want to, they have to do surgery like now. I said, okay, have they done it? Like, what are they doing? She said, they're preparing. I said, okay, hold your husband's hand. Put your hand on the baby. Let's pray before they go to do anything. And we prayed, and then they took the baby. The next day, she called, she said, the doctor came, and the doctor said, this baby is a miracle baby. I don't know how this baby survived, but I know how, why the baby survived. Amen. Yes. And uh, that the, next, the next few days, we had the counseling here in church and uh, I knew that somebody has to be here and I had an exam that I kept pushing that exam and I wouldn't take the people take the exam but I said even this week the exam was on Thursday I said but I don't even I've not even studied for this exam I was going back and forth each time I start to, to do the review by the time I come out I'm, I'm timed out so I never really reviewed the exam but something kept saying reschedule it reschedule I could hear the Lord say don't reschedule the exam and I did not reschedule that exam. But this is what happened. When I went to the exam, it's two parts. There's one, the general session, and then one, the Texas law. I didn't know, the first part is 150 questions. I didn't answer about 40 questions. I just checked to come back. But at the end of the session, I was supposed to check review. When I got to the end of the 150 question, I checked continue. I forgot. Then I went to do part two. And I did part two, and I finished part two, and I had checked like five to review. I went back to review, then I, I realized, oh my God. So I called the lady, I said, please stop, I need to go back to part one. She said, no, you can't go to part one. I said, oh my God. My heart, you know, my heart just dropped like, oh, I feel this again. I sat down there for a few minutes, I said, well, well. And I came out. The lady, she even scared me more, she printed the yeah, they right away. She put it in the thing and she put it down. I said, oh, I must have messed up this thing. You don't even want to put it up. When I flipped it over, I, don't, I did not just pass the exam. I passed the exam very well. 
the lady told me, God is with you. I knew definitely God was with me. And I stood there and I told the lady, I praise God. I, the place, they don't want you to make too much noise. But I told her, no, I have to. So I made some noise. But God is wonderful because he's faithful. The last prayer point that I had for that thing was, God, I want open heavens on my business. And the Lord, from even the Sunday, a presentation I was planning with one of my team to do. The church called is 600 people. I didn't even book the day. They booked the day they start announcing. So I'll do that presentation on April the 5th. Yesterday, I got an email from the Navy. They scheduled me to do a presentation two times in a month. It's 1,500 people I'm going to be speaking to on a college planning session. And then I have two, two churches to talk to and two community groups in Michigan, one on the April the 12th and another on April the 16th. And then a policy that I did with Sister Angel already canceled. When they cancel, incomplete, done. I got an email on Friday that the policy is approved. There's no how they approve without you resubmitting paperwork. I can see that the heavens is true. Yeah. Our God is good. God is here. You don't have to go all over. God is here, but you have to align so He can speak to you. Hallelujah. Amen. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. And finally, Elder Tom. Uh, James, do you want to testify? Come on. Let that. No, what of you come? All right. Give your test. Morning, James. Uh, I had a testimony about um, a teacher in my school because, well, he he claims himself as a Christian. So one day when I was at school, he really had like problems with it because he doesn't really like kids. So he was saying I had a problem with him last time. Because he said I cheated on one of my tests, so I'm going to go talk to him. And then he said, he said that I was looking over some of my friend's homework or something. So after that, um, he called me during lunch and he said he's going to use all his power to make sure I don't get a good grade on my test. So I'm going to move to the next grade. So I got a little pissed off and I went to the restroom and I paid and I came back and um, my, well, we call her mother because she really takes care of the kids and she's really nice. And we have this sort of system where um, we call porch, so and they pay us, um, they give us a paycheck. So if we had any like problems, they'll decrease our money and stuff. So she said she'll let me retake the test to see, um, just to make sure, because she really doesn't trust the teacher because he has other problems with other, other teachers too. So. I retook, I retook the test and I only missed one problem and and he said and then he got um, the principal had to talk to him about some I don't know if he's um, told the principal but he said that um, um, some parents were talking to him about how rude he is and he said one of my friends because she has a big voice so he said one of my friends has um, smoked pack like takes drugs and stuff um, because she has a deep voice and sometimes sometimes he would make fun of kids and make fun of parents and he calls himself a Christian and I just really want to thank God because I actually he start started to leave me alone a little bit and I'm starting to, start to get a three grade in history. So. Amen. No matter what you go through in school, go and pray. You know, girls and boys in school. And God will always give you the way. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I will carry forward my testimony for next time. Our time is fast spent. But please, the cities are ready. The cities for the conference, they are ready. Please, when you go there, get a package, they will reduce. Amen. Amen. Meaning that everything for the conference has been put into one package now. What the price? Huh? Upstairs, what is the price? 
Sam, ta putie. Upstairs, you don't have a price yet. All right, we are going to stand up and thank the Lord for all these testimonies. Amen. If you know that somebody said something that touches your life about what God has done in their life, nothing about and just begin to thank the Lord and just give Him the glory, give Him the honor, give Him the adoration for His goodness and His mercy. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for every testimony. We seal every one of them with the blood of Jesus. And we pray, O oh God, that you, the good God that did all these miracles, you will keep your people secure and safe, that no people of the devil from again shall prosper. Thank you for the breakthroughs at places of work, at job places, in schools. Father, thank you for the breakthrough for new jobs. Thank you for the breakthrough for healing. Thank you for the breakthrough for salvation. Thank you, Jesus, that you have made us know that you are God and that you continue to provide and to protect us. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The Bible speaks about a thank you, a thanksgiving seed. Amen. So we are going to dance to the altar. And as you are moving your spirit, whatever the Lord touches you to support and thank the Lord with this one that have testified, please you will dance to the altar and thank the Lord with them. Amen. Because this is what keeps the testimony sealed up. We bless the Lord for the first testimony from our ex about our sister. And today is a miracle for me because our sister has visited Houston many times and the Lord gave us.